Watching TVC Breakfast, we are now officially in the second half of the program uh, today. Let's uh, quickly bring you some news uh, items now. The Senate has approved uh, the removal from office. Uh, the chairman of the Code of Conduct Tribunal, Dala Di Umar, for alleged misconduct and improper behavior of a holder of such position. More than two-thirds of members of the upper legislative chamber adopted the resolution after invoking Section 157, Subsection 1 of the 1999 Constitution as amended, which permits the president to remove him from office for his inability to discharge his functions diligently. National Assembly correspondent T.J. Suadeoye reports. The weight of wrongdoing by the CCT chairman, Dan Ladi Umar, may have tipped the scales, prompting the upper legislative chamber to take a firm stance, seeking his removal from office. Expressway. Invoking section 157, subsection 1 of the 1999 constitution as amended, which requires the consent of two-third majority of the Senate to prompt the commander-in-chief of the armed forces to remove Yakubu Dan Ladi Umar, as chairman of the Code of Conduct Tribunal. The Senate resolves to invoke and activate the constitutional provision as enshrined in Section 157, Subsection 1, by forwarding an address supported by two thirds majority of the Senate, which shall be acted upon by Mr. President for their official removal from office of Mr. Yakubu Danladi Umar. By our tradition, leadership don't sign the register. So 74 plus 10 makes 84, and therefore we have gotten the required constitutional requirement to proceed. As enshrined in our 1999 constitution as amended, removing the chairman of the Court of Conduct Tribunal from office as a result of acts of Misconduct. This brings to an end the reign of a man that held sway at the Code of Conduct Tribunal since 2011. It paves way for Minasara Kogu to assume office following his appointment by President Tinubu in July. Adequate and decisive measures. In another development, the Senate has urged the Nigerian military to maintain its presence and vigilance to stop the infiltration of violent terrorists known as Lakurawa in the Northwest States. Senate is aware that if timely, adequate and decisive measures are not taken, this group can spread its foreign reign of terror to other parts of northern parts of the country and beyond. Also, the Senate has asked its Committee on Works to investigate the reasons behind the non-completion of repair works on the Odupani Itsu Highway in Cross River State observes that the highway has been in a state of disrepair for years, with significant portions uncompleted despite repeated promises and allocations to federal budgets. The clerk of the Senate has been mandated to send a letter to President Tinubu to communicate the removal from office of the Chairman, Code of Conduct Tribunal, Dan Ladi Umar. Tijesu Adiri, TVC News, Abuja. The Acting Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Olufemi Oluyede, has uh, ordered an immediate investigation into a viral video on social media showing a senior army officer and two other soldiers assaulting a man and woman within the Abuja metropolis. In a statement by the Director, Army Public Relations, Major General Oye Wachuku, the Acting Chief of Army Staff ordered the probe to unravel the true circumstances surrounding this altercation saying the army remains committed to serving and protecting all law-abiding Nigerians as enshrined in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He also assured the public that due diligence would be done to reach a logical conclusion on the matter.